this is the statue of the unknown soldier. Here. And this is the perpetual flame. This perpetual flame is lit every 6th of March 1957 or every 6th of March when we are celebrating our independent day to remember. The president does it but he chooses the one to lit it. And on it is not just decorations. These symbols are not just symbols. They are speaking. They are speaking to us. These are Adinkra symbols. Notable among the symbols is the Jinami symbol. The Ghanaian society is full of superstition. And I can tell you, don't be surprised. When you meet a Ghanaian family and their grand great grandfather is 99 years old and died tomorrow, don't be surprised. Ghanaian can tell you he or she was killed by you. Yes. We, we, we hardly believe somebody died naturally. Somebody killed somebody. <laughs> yes, our, uh, that is, the Ghanaian is full of superstition. So when you are married to a Ghanaian and you don't treat your husband well and he died, you are in trouble because they'll say you killed him. So we have this and the belief is that when somebody plant evil against you, if God does not allow it, it will never happen. That's why we say, accept God. It simply translates, when God does not kill you, literal translation from the tree language into English, when God does not kill you, your enemy try in vain, cannot succeed. So that is a symbol. So the various symbols here, that depicts what the country stands for. Now, that is the Black Star Gate. And the motto of the country is freedom and justice. Freedom and justice. And you see all the flags here. I explained on the bus that the red stands for the blood that was lost during the independence. The yellow for the gold, the numerous gold resources the green for the vegetation, and the black star in the middle for the low star of African struggle. So our president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, believed that what the white man is capable of doing, the black man is capable of doing more. And we shine, just like the stars in the sky. So let's go across, and then we'll have a panoramic view. Oh, we'll have a panoramic view of the area. Yes, my brothers. And yes, family, Bomani Tamba here, live in the flesh. And we are here at the Independence Square in Ghana. 
Nö. That is the reason, the blast target. And you see that they did not seven, freedom and justice. Hell no, you're not going. Okay, let's go. I don't know where you're going. Is it the hell no? national security installations. So therefore the people sitting underneath are national security operatives. So we're gonna ask them permission before we climb up there. Okay. You okay you okay taking picture and video? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can't take pictures. So you can you can you can, can. Hey John, make sure you get up all of the monuments and and, and good photos of all of the monuments. Don't just say okay, brother. <laughs> 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 Alright, so family, what we're looking to do is just up close and just show you all of this beautiful culture here at Independence Square. The big 1957 Freedom and Justice. Yeah, the Black Star Stadium right there. Hello ladies, hello again. Hello again, good to see you. Y'all following us? Uh, okay, uh, uh, so, uh, 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 so, uh, okay, uh, okay, okay, I want to hand you over to my brother here. He's going to, even though I've told you more, but he's going to elaborate a little bit about the place. Like I said, this was built in honor of Queen Elizabeth II. God bless the Queen. <laughs> Are you serious? So, so I hand you over to him. So this is what you just said. <laughs> yes. This place was in the hand of the Queen, but I mean, excuse my language, it's bullshit. I was explain everything. So you know, after we had our independence, I'll come back to how the struggle began. After we had our independence in 1957, our president, that is Kwame Nkrumah, stopped dealing with the Queen. I mean, the Western world. So at the time, his opponent, his political opponent, tagged him as anti-European. I don't remember the Queen even felt threatened. That's how come he said, "Let me visit Africa in 1961 and make amends with all my colonial countries." So when she was coming, our president to also prove to his political opponent that he is not anti-European decided to honor the Queen with this. Right? It is purely political, but I mean, I still don't take it. It's still bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 right. and named it the Blast Target. <laughs> you see? Okay. So let's go to the top. And so, so basically, I'll just tell you why we have this monument. So when we refer to the independence day, we are talking about three separate monuments, right? So I think you went to the Black Star Square. That is one. And we are here. This is the Black Star Act, okay? 
on this part, at the far end of the park, I think when we are up there, you see more clearer. There is another monument at the far end of this park. Okay, on that monument, we have three statue of soldiers. Now, those statue of soldiers uh, were part of about sixty-five thousand the British used to fight the Second World War. You know, in nineteen thirty-nine, Ghana was still under the British colony. Mm -hmm. So they used about 65,000 of our soldiers to fight on their behalf. And when the war ended, about 2,000, few, I mean, about 63,000 died. And those who survived, they were promised end of war benefits, of which they were never given. So in 1948, that is on the 28th of February, these soldiers decided to march to the castle that used to be the seat of government to petition the governor so he could, he could do something about the situation. Because at the time, the economic situation was also very dire. On their way to the castle, they were met with the security, and uh, they were ordered to turn back. I mean, these veterans were just were peaceful, they were unarmed, so they felt like, we just want to see the governor. One British police called Emery took a gun and fired into the crowd, killing three instantly. So we have their statue erected on the nationalism park. And this incident did not go well with the Ghanaians. So there was a retaliation, right? So they were looting all over. There were destruction of properties, mainly targeted at the British, and eventually that would lead us to Ghana becoming the first black African country to achieve political independence. So Ghana became the first black African country to achieve political independence. And at the time when we had the independence, Kwame Nkrumah had something in mind, but something that was first conceived by Marcus Garvey, that is the United States of Africa. Right? That is the vision of Marcus Garvey, but unfortunately we could not succeed it. So Kwame Nkrumah, in his opinion, chose the Black Star from Agosgabi's Black Star line to reflect the vision of the African unity. And this monument at the time when it was built was to inspire the rest of Africa who were still following colonial rule to also fight for their independence so Africa could unite. And secondly, why we have the monument to announce our independence as a country. So like we all celebrate our birthdays and other days. We are independent, so we celebrate it. So the big square, where you came from, is where we celebrate our independent celebrations. When we go up, I'll show you just two things on the square. So you take some steps up, you do some little. Um, we have about 250 steps. No, you are scaring me. Well, let's let, let, let the other people take the elevator. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, there's no elevator. For real? It was built in those days. No elevator. I mean, there were elevators in those days, but at least when we try, man, you have to have to go one step at a time. You go at your pace. Okay, okay. let's go. Right, let's go on with you. This is her. So, fam, this is our first time ever since I've been in the country. Going up here. So, we always got new food. Wow, family, the view is incredible from here. Africa for Africans. Yes, family, that's it. The black star, the big black star. It's a beautiful view, man. Never been up here, brother. Oh, wow. Been up here so many times I in Ghana. Absolutely, man. I wish I had a bunch of them to give to everybody. Oh, it's like giving me one. Oh yeah, I wish I had some Lifetime more. Ghana repatriation investment tours. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, come on. This is the most incredible view ever. <laughs> ever. It's worth the climbing.
So everywhere I'm showing you from is parts of Ghana where we have driven around so many times, especially even today. And now you can see it all. Now like we have aerial view. And no family, this is not aerial view. We are up here on top of the monument. You can stand here. There's a reason why they brought You can stand on this one. They want us to see something. Yes. And you're brave sitting on that. Oh yeah, I mean, it's just safe. Don't tell me, because I don't want to think about it. We're not going to judge. OK. OK. Oh, she did. You can't help to the